Hello everyone and welcome to, well, quite a special video because Godzilla vs. Kong finally has a trailer. It's been so, so long and I've already watched it and this video is basically a trailer analysis video. So yeah, I'm not that very good at trailer analysis, but I'm going to try my best. So it looks like going through here in the, let's go into edit mode. But one thing that I did catch, or that my friends pointed out, is that if I can find the marker tool, or just over here, that is Mechagodzilla. That indeed is Mechagodzilla, because you can see the red light. And if you go back and look at it, you can see him coming out. Okay, so in the next shot, we have over here, it looks like you got tons of aircraft carriers and a special boat designed to carry Kong. I keep on thinking that's a special boat designed to carry Kong because Godzilla and Kong alike would not be able to stand on it on their own. And then over here, we have basically, it looks like, I can't remember her name. I'm just gonna analysis the monster parts. So Kong's knocked out apparently on this boat. Also, you have Kong strapped down, but then you got this little girl. This little girl apparently is able to communicate with Kong and is the only one that can communicate with him or the only one that he allows to communicate with him. So, and then this person is basically has an oath to protect this little girl and Kong has done the same. So next, we get my favorite part, G-Man over here. You got Godzilla over here busting through an aircraft carrier, well not an aircraft carrier, a warship with his back spikes. And he looks angry. He looks so angry throughout this. And then you got his tail, his signature tail move. And then also you have Kong. Kong over here. I love his expression. He looks terrified. He looks absolutely terrified from this. I don't, And I would be too if you have a freaking giant water crocodile coming after you. And then you have Kong roaring down at the water, and then Godzilla coming up and basically getting him. And then you have this amazing shot right here of Kong and Godzilla fighting. And then this year, Kong shoving Godzilla off, and then you got Godzilla in his atomic breath. And this is freaking beautiful right here. That is an amazing shot. I love this shot. And then you go through here, you got Godzilla swimming, you got these people, and then the beautiful scene of Hong Kong. This is where they're supposed to fight. I love that they're going back to the original roots of how they used to fight in Japan all the time. And that is just amazing in that. And then you got this guy returning. I can't remember his name. I don't bother to remember the human characters. You got Godzilla shooting at something. I don't know what this is or what could be causing him to shoot. Hmm. We'll have to wait for the trailer too, if there even is a trailer too. And then I got Millie Bobby Brown and her friend and then you got Kong right here. And apparently in this shot, it says that there was a war in the past. And look, you can see in the background that you got the heave. The heave is there. And then so you got Kong and all that. So, and then you got Warbat. Warbat freaking looks amazing. And then you got Kong's axe. And then you got this amazing stare down from Godzilla and Kong. And then you got Kamazots. I think that's Kamazots coming down. Kamazots is a lot smaller. And also, I swear, this looks like the Hollow Earth. I think, wait, what the? If you zoom in right there, that's a head. That looks like a Godzilla home. That looks like Kong's and Godzilla's home. Or just an ancient place. I don't know who that is. And then you got Kong and Godzilla fighting right here. And then also you got basically Kong and Godzilla fighting. And that's it. And then it looks like Kong's axe he's able to use to absorb Godzilla's atomic breath and then basically wax Godzilla. And yeah, that's my initial reaction. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.